These are the plays that are going to make you money today. This is the Daily Profit brought to you by Line Maker Sports. Let's get into the best probability plays for the NBA. But before we get to that, make sure you guys are sticking around because we are going to announce the winner of the $1,000 giveaway. Who's winning $1,000 cash? Wait till the end. I'm going to announce that winner. Now, before we get to the NBA, let's talk about yesterday's stuff. Let's first talk about the NFL game. Everything I said in that NFL game pretty much panned out. So Devontae Adams, Garrett Wilson, they went off because they were going against the Texans who gave up the 24th most fantasy points to wide receivers. So all the focus and all the pinpoint for Aaron Rodgers was on his receivers, leaving Tyler Conklin, the tight end, left out to dry. He had one reception for negative three yards. All right, so... We had him under 34 and a half receiving yards. Didn't even need that. We could have been under one yard, and he still ended up catching that. He had negative three yards. So Tyler Conklin came through in the NFL game. That was a no sweat, easy one right there. All right. Next thing was Penguins game. Penguins game, we had Sidney Crosby to have at least one point. He ended up going through, cashing that one pretty easily as well. So no sweat there. Luka Doncic, we had over 43.5 points, rebounds, and assists. He has been the opposite of what we like to call what Wemby is, the fade machine. He's been the opposite. We've been betting him to go over, and he keeps going under his number. So I think maybe because Klay Thompson maybe has been added to the lineup that that's kind of hurt him maybe a little bit. It just seems like Kyrie Irving is going off more than Luka is. And it's kind of hurting his production. So we had the PRA there for 43 and a half. He ended up losing that one again. He went under again on that. So Luca didn't come through with us, you know, come through for us last night. But Crosby did well. Conklin did well. So let's move on to today. Let's talk about some stuff for today. So we got De'Aaron Fox right off the bat. He has a 66% probability to go over 32.5 points, rebounds, and assists. He's going against the 21st best team at guarding the point guard position. So this is a decent matchup for him as well to line up with that 32.5. Now that number has been going up. All right, At the beginning of the season, it was about 29.5, 30.5. He surpassed those ones pretty easily. So now they're bumping his number up a little bit. So it's getting a little bit sweaty as in they're bumping that number up. Because he's usually around like that 30-ish to 31 guy. That's usually where he lands. So we'll see how it ends up panning out as they're raising his number a little bit. But he still has a 66% probability to surpass the 32.5 PRA mark. Now let's get to Jalen Williams, who's going to be the second option pretty much for the Oklahoma City Thunder. He has a 69% probability to go under 32.5 points, rebounds, and assists. Now, he's going against the 12th best team at guarding the power forward position. So, a good matchup for the under here. Decent matchup. Not the best, but the, a decent matchup for the under here. And he is the second option back from SGA, Shai Gil Gilgis Alexander. So, possibly could, you know, see some less production. When you have an under and you're going on an under for a guy that's not the main focal point of the offense, that makes you feel a little bit better as well. And they're going against a team that's pretty good at guarding the power forward position. So there should be some resistance against him in that matchup. Now let's talk to Jaden Ivey. Jaden Ivey has a 72% probability to go under 27.5 points, rebounds, and assists. He's going against the 7th best team at guarding the shooting guard position. So again, we have an under here with a good matchup defensively and a good probability to back it. Another guy that is second option on his team as Cunningham, Cade Cunningham, is the first option. So 72% probability for him to go under 27.5 points, rebounds, and assists. That's pretty solid. That's not too bad. And again, he's going against the seventh best team at guarding the shooting guard position. So that's what we want. You know, we want oh, on an under, you want a good defensive squad. On an over, you want a terrible defensive squad going against the matchup that you have and that you're presented with. So let's go through one more time before we get to anything else. De'Aaron Fox, 66% probability for him to go over 32 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. Me personally, the only issue I have with this one is that his number has been going up. So like I said, we had 29 and a half, we had 30 and a half throughout the beginning of the season. Now it's starting to gradually go up because he's beaten that number. 
which we actually had him the other night, and he, we had him at 30 and a half. He ended up having 30. So that's what I'm saying. Like, he is known for sticking around that 30 to 31-ish, 30, 31, 32-ish range. So 32 and a half is stretching it a little bit because beginning of the season, he surpassed that number first couple games. So it's a little bit iffy, but again, he's going against the 21st best team at guarding the point guard position. So he has a good matchup. He has the opportunity to go out there to be able to surpass that 32 and a half number. Jalen Williams, I always like unders when we're going with somebody that's not the focal point of the offense. This is with Jalen Williams. SGA is the focal point of the Thunder offense. Secondary is going to be Jalen Williams. 69% probability for that. He doesn't have the best defensive matchup, but 12th best is not too bad. Okay, that's not too bad. 32.5 is a decently high number for the second option on a team. So I like this play because, again, he's got a decent defensive matchup, and there should be some resistance there on top of you pretty much got your second option on the team. Whereas if SGA is going off, he's going to go overlooked and he's not going to get the ball as much. Jaden Ivey, same thing here with Jaden Ivey. Cade Cunningham is the first option on the Pistons. Jaden Ivey would be around that second option. And the number is a little bit low at 27.5. That is a low number. But with a 72% probability there and with a good defensive matchup, he does have the opportunity to go out there and Cade Cunningham maybe takes over. Well, he's, he has a crazy usage rate right now for Detroit, Cade Cunningham. So if he just takes over the game and keeps you know ball hogging pretty much the whole game, Ivy's not going to have the opportunity to get above that 27.5 number. So definitely do like this one because he has a good matchup defensively. And on top of that, you have Cunningham who has a high usage uh, output. So he's going to have the ball in his hand mostly the whole entire game. So we're not going to have to worry about, you know, him being the focal point, Ivy being the focal point of the offense. All right. Now let's talk about the $1,000 giveaway for Fridays. All right. Every Friday I'm giving away $1,000 just like I'm going to do today. Make sure you guys comment GOAT because I'm, I'm using throughout Monday through Friday. Everybody that comments GOAT, we put it in a random generator and it randomly generates somebody's name. All right, so comment GOAT and you need to be subscribed because I see a lot of comments of people that are not subscribed. Make sure you're subscribed. It tells me if you're subscribed or not. You're not going to be entered in that list for the random generator if you are not subscribed. So make sure that you are subscribed. It's very important. Let's talk about the F-bombs for today. I got two 74% F-bombs for the NBA, two 73% F-bombs in the NBA, and then one 77% F-bomb for the NHL. Again, guys, it's just Friday, so we don't do a show on Saturday and Sunday. If you guys want the plays for Saturday and Sunday, make sure you guys join the group. Go in the link, in the description, click the link, and join the group. It's that simple. That's all you got to do. You'll get the plays sent right to you. If you guys are interested in me coaching you and teaching you one-on-one -on -one exactly how I come up with these probabilities and learning all those strategies and all the sports, that's in the description as well. Click the link. All right? It's that simple, guys. You got two options when you click that link. I can send you the picks. I can teach you how to do exactly what it is that I'm doing, which is giving you the probabilities and the money lines, totals, all that good stuff. So make sure you guys do that as well. Now let's go and announce the winner of the $1,000 giveaway. All right, everybody ready? Drum roll. Drum roll it up. Here we go. Your winner is going to be Jason G. Jason G, congratulations. We have already reached out to you and sent you your $1,000 in cash just in case anybody wants to know how we're doing it, PayPal, easiest way to do it. All right, we send you $1,000 through PayPal. Boom, goes right into your bank account, and you've won $1,000. So congrats to Jason G. You are the first $1,000 winner for $1,000 Fridays. Like I said, guys, if you guys want to be entered in this, all you got to do is comment GOAT down below Monday through Friday. Monday through Friday, every time we put the show out, you comment GOAT, and that'll work. YouTube videos, if you comment GOAT, we're not using those, all right? Only for the show. So don't go on to YouTube videos commenting GOAT. Just do that on Monday through Friday on the Daily Profit Show. As always, guys, I'm Frank with Linemaker Sports. I'll see you guys on Monday. Till then, I'm out.